So what's the problem with utilitarianism? So let me say what it is, first of all. Um, it's often called the greatest good for the greatest number, um, because that was Jeremy Bentham's way of trying to describe what this ethic is. And really, it's a system of thinking that says you judge something by its outcome. It's all about the ends, not the means. So what you're trying to do in any situation is discern the good by figuring out what the, what the eventual outcome might be. So sometimes it's also called consequentialism because it's about consequences. And it's a very useful ethic for public life because the lovely thing about an ethic based on decision making and consequences is you can always say, well, that was the, the consequence and was it a good one or a bad one? And so you can be very publicly accountable for the choices that you've made. So it's become the kind of rule of thumb in many, many communities, in government, in policy, in, in education, in STEM. It's all about trying to be able to justify the decisions you've made for the amount of good they've created. And it all sounds great until you start really drilling down on what that might mean when it doesn't work. So we had a collective experience of that during coronavirus where we all heard about this thing called herd immunity. And her herd immunity was the idea that the best way to save the species is to have enough people get coronavirus that there would uh, be immunity in everybody else around it who'd been exposed to um, the sort of fringes of that virus. The problem about that is it's knowingly saying that those who are too weak to resist that virus will die. So it's a policy that says anyone who is infirm, who is old, who is obese, who is disabled, those people we can sacrifice for the good of the whole. And in utilitarian terms, that's a really good outcome. In human terms, that kind of thinking made us all feel really sick because we feel there's something innately special and precious about every human. And the dignity of the human is why we have rules against eugenics and experimentation and euthanasia and all of those things that are about trying to make sure that every human is special and precious and protected. So my concern with utilitarianism is it sneaks in a logic which, which actually we can adjust because we're human and we feel those things aren't right. But if that's the only thing you code into a self-driving car or any AI, then what will stop it from making those kind of herd immunity decisions which we feel are revolting? So what is it that we need to code back in to protect against utilitarianism when actually the means are as important as the ends and there's something that needs to be protected that's at the heart of it?